till now we had been very successfully uh, i mean you know deboosted has been done we, the lander uh, vikram is going around the moon not only this uh, payload uh, the propulsion module along with the uh, it's a pay, uh, payloads shape is going around well there is a 100 or more than 150 kilo gram so fuel is there in the propulsion module so it will go for years together and it will uh, contribute uh, towards our knowledge about uh, earth's uh, spectrum you know which is gets uh, light earth's light which gets uh, reflect light which falls on uh, earth sun and is gets reflected as far as uh, lander is concerned we are we are already at 25 kilometers uh, uh, you know at perigee and i'm sure tomorrow when they do it all precautions have been taken uh, everything has been checked all links have been checked and digital elevation mo- model has been checked the photographs taken from the lander have been uh, compared with the digital elevation model so uh, what the isro says and what isro chairman has told that he, with I mean, precautions have been taken such a way that except propulsion you know if anything else fails we will land safely and uh, you know i also know that uh, I mean, with new instruments added the like laser velocity doppler then uh, cab and uh, uh, altimeter which gives up to centimeters accuracy laser uh, altimeter uh, hazard hazardous detection avoidance camera often front cameras and with the oh, capability of hovering you know all the instruments will be before uh, landing i mean before the you know landing starts all the instruments which are presently on their own calibration will be calibrated with respect to star sensor there will be absolute calibration for almost in 10 seconds so with all those things taking uh, i mean i feel uh, we will land safely not only this this time the thrust propulsion is more the thrust can be reduced or uh, you know it can be regulated and the eight uh, other thrusters as a besides the main uh, rockets or main thrusters that which are around 800 newtons which are higher than the last time so they will change the direction it will hover and hovering is like a helicopter hovering so it will avoid any boulder is there or any crater uh, is there and it will go to a proper shape last thing i want to add is that isro has identified 4 km by 2. km they were divided into grids 24 meters by 24 meters and out of the grids 20 grids have been chosen out of the 28 grids have been chosen in such a way that if you avoid one uh, particular point next point will be 100 meters away only so and they will be able what has they have done is that no boulder should be more than 2 meters high there should not be any shadow there should be proper illumination of the solar panels from the sun the crater uh, slope should not be more than uh, it should be less than 10 degree and radio communication should be 100% be it an uh, orbiter of chandrayaan 2 or be it is ground stations so if i see all the things out of eight sites we will be able to land added to last one that we they are not able to land because of some reasons on 27th they will try another one and i personally feel there is enough fuel and everything is there if it goes back to same orbit like 25 kilometers by 134 kilometers in that one maybe in the next lunar cycle it can lunar solar cycle it can land that's my personal opinion okay there is no official okay, okay so just just to go back a little i think i uh, you said if they're not able to land tomorrow they will try again on the 27th is that what you're saying because i that's what i heard you say yes that's that that's correct so that so so tomorrow if if there are any problems like last time it's not going to come back or the the lander is not going to get lost but you're saying that there are enough fail safe fail safe in place so that they can try again while still they are there that's correct but i want to add one more thing you know this time uh, that all control logics earlier they were done it was in uh, one order you know even for the polynomials of one first order here they have been on second order second thing is that all the analysis has been done both practical as well as the theoretical have been done on failure mode third thing is that uh, total things have been you know, critical things have been examined for 6 sigma we do the things for right. 3 sigma 6 sigma is 1 into 10 is 
I mean, one mistake in the one million. So, you know, with that sort of confidence and the confidence oozes out from the chairman Isro's uh, statement, which here they have issued. So I am quite confident as a space technologist, we will land this time.